The sheer force of the hurricane ripped through city streets at over 100 miles an hour, bringing driving rain and toppling power lines by the roadside. Deadly tornadoes spawned by Hurricane Milton tore up and down parts of Florida, wreaking havoc in St. Lucie County, where at least four people were killed. Yet as bad as this looks, the state had been prepared for worse. The storm was significant, but thankfully this was not the worst case scenario. The storm did weaken before landfall, and the storm surge, as initially reported, has not been as significant overall. In the city of Venice, the destruction was revealed as dawn broke after a savage battering overnight. Roofs were also ripped right off homes, and the floodwaters make paradise somewhat less than idyllic. Joanne and Buster the dog were inside when a tree fell onto their house. I've been here 20 years in June, and this is the worst damage that I've had. Despite all the damage that you can see, the impact of Hurricane Milton was actually much less catastrophic than had been feared, and obviously that's a relief. That doesn't mean, though, there won't be highly politicised arguments now about the efforts to help the people who need it most. Tropical Storm Helene, only two weeks ago, devastated parts of Florida as well as Georgia and the Carolinas and bred a slew of disinformation and conspiracy theories. Untrue tales of help being withheld from certain communities or monies directed to migrants. Despite the misinformation and lies, the truth is we're providing the resources needed to rescue, recover and rebuild. President Biden blames Donald Trump, among others, for spreading false stories. Have you spoken with former President Trump at all? Uh, Are you kidding me? Mr. President Trump, former President Trump, Get a life, man. Help these people. Will you hold him accountable? You said you were going to hold this accountable. Public will hold him accountable. You better in a press hold him accountable because you know the truth. Many of these people need some help now. Donald Trump suggesting it may only come if he is re-elected. Hopefully on January 20th, you're going to have somebody that's really going to help you and help you like never before because help is on the way. Together we will rebuild, we will recover, and we will come back stronger, bigger, better than ever before. The imminent election is already encroaching on efforts to rebuild and repair, work that will take many months, well beyond the vote, which is just 26 days from now.